Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to go over the topic about how to create a statistic summary from a 3D point cloud in Global Mapper. Using Global Mapper can help produce statistics information for your loaded point cloud datasets. Usually, we get to use the metadata tool and the statistic tab to understand the whole dataset such as how many point clouds there are, what the elevation range is, and what percentage of each classification the data takes up. We are able to copy and uh, copy the table to text and paste it into a spreadsheet for further documentation if it needed. But what's more, in the last, latest version of Global Mapper 24.1 Pro, we have upgraded the LiDAR statistic functionality to facilitate the use of LiDAR processing. So in 24.1 Pro, you may create a, uh, a report of statistics for a particular subset of your point cloud uh, data. So in this case, in reference to the 3D point cloud data in Portland City in Maine, where we are trying to find the average building heights from a LiDAR point clouds. To get to know the statistics of the point cloud only within the area, we need some building footprint representing the uh, building loaded in Global Mapper as well as the point cloud data set itself. Then select the polygons. Right click in this uh, blank space and go to the analysis a measurement list and select the Calculate LiDAR Stats in Selected Area. It will show, uh, helps user to save the information as feature attributes in a vector data, uh, in a vector layer, so that these statistics can be seen as attributes for each uh, building footprint. The elevation intensity range as well as the average elevation and the intensity. For this building, for example, you should be see to know there it has 20, uh, 12 point nine meter height on average. When you got multiple data set in the same area with different uh, time periods, the tool can help update the statistics easily as well. So select the polygon and run the same tool as normal, and you will see a pop up uh, window saying the attribute with lidar statistics has been updated. So uh, uh, for the example, the pop-up showing the updated attribute information. Also in Pro 24.1, this statistical summaries can be accessed without having to create a polygon initially. Instead, Global Mapper allows performing the same operation anytime LiDAR points are selected. In this example, we would like to know how the uh, the point clouds for the, this urban area uh, called Lincoln Park in Portland are collected and create a statistic summary for that. We can do a poly selection here and uh, just uh, to select uh, whichever the point cloud should be selected using the poly selection tool. And after that, we uh, right click and go to the analysis measurement list as usual and there is an option to display statistic for uh, selected LiDAR points, so that no need to create a polygon first. In this dialog, familiar to the statistic tab in the meta uh, data tool, there is an additional tab to display the additional statistical summary, same as what the selected uh, areas can do. But you just don't need to create any uh, areas anymore. It will give users a quick update of what the statistics look like for selected point clouds right away. And as usual, you can copy to uh, test and paste it into the spreadsheet. So just a note that the statistical summary for a subset of the point clouds introduced today are pro features. Pro is really an add-on module on top of the Global Mapper product. More information about what Pro can do, please take a look at our website where there's a full list of comparison between Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro.